Alrighty, it's time. We've got to say goodbye to the hokas. Good morning. Coming to you from Around the Bend Hostel or Hostel Around the Bend. <coughs> I just ate breakfast. I've got my pack ready to go and I am slack packing today. So we've got Around the Bend Outfitters here. This is their gear shop and um, in front of me are some cabins that you can rent right there and sleep in those. And I stayed in the, the bunk house. I am just waiting for 8 o'clock to come around and the shuttle to take me out to Unicoi Gap where I'm going to do a northbound 16.9 I think mile hike today with a very light pack. Uh, water is scarce so I am carrying water and that's about it. I will end up back here today taking a zero tomorrow and then I will have three more nights and four days on trail. And then I'd be done. So amazing. Come along with me for the journey. I am at the top of Rocky Mountain. And you can see everything's kind of hazy from the fires that are going on in the area. I heard yesterday that there's multiple fires. And I can definitely taste the smoke in the air. But it creates a pretty, pretty outline there of the mountain. Got some elevation to deal with here today, but luckily I am slack packing, so I don't have all that extra weight on my hips and my knees, my feet. So I am actually looking forward to the day. I've mentioned it on the previous couple of videos, but last year in October of 22, I did a section hike with my sister and through this area. And I actually went the opposite direction of what I'm going today through this section. It's kind of fun to try and remember back to how I felt. <laughs> the exhaustion with which I dealt with. How many times I had to stop coming up hills because I thought I was going to black out. <laughs> This is a nice change from that. <laughs> being in shape and being conditioned, it's fabulous. Ooh, cobweb. And the oak leaves are still slick. I think I've got over 400 miles on these shoes. So, hostel around the bend or around the bend hostel. I need to get the name right. I'll put it in here properly. They actually have topos in their gear shop, and I've been wanting to try those on because I've heard so much good news of, or good uh, comments about them. So, I think I will try a pair on at least. Regardless, I'm going to need another pair of shoes after this hike for home. So, I might, my last. 50 some miles might try them out I will let you know more words written and read all authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me therefore go and make disciples of all nations baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you and surely I am with you always to the very end of the age. Mark 28, 18 through 20. I've reached Swag of the Blue Ridge. And this is what the area is. Not sure how this particular spot got its name.
and now I need to go look for my swag bag. So I'm gonna go get busy check it, checking for it. So I'll let you know if I find it. Well, this is not the swag bag. I couldn't find one. This is Etowa Gears Wolf Pack. It's a day pack. And I actually met the founder of Etowa Gear yesterday in the woods. I like this little pack here. It's what uh, Hustle Around the Bend is loaning out for day hikes. It has some good outer pockets here, a big back pocket, two side pockets, and then a large capacity inner. I don't know the leaders of this one. I think, I don't know. I think he said 22 maybe or 20 something, but it's a great little day pack. And I believe um, they're 80 or $90 for uh, you to purchase on his website. So Etowa Gear, E-T-O-W-A-H. Check it out. Hey everybody, I am at Around the Bend Outfitters and we are going to meet the owner, Gordon here. I'm Gordon. And can you tell us a little bit about your gear shop here? Yeah, we uh, we try to keep all cottage here. So we have uh, light AF, Hyperlite, six spin designs, uh, Z-Packs, uh, first authorized dealer of Z-Packs on the Appalachian Trail. Uh, we carry a variety of freeze-dried meals, hiker essentials, shoes, anything you need. We also have bunks and private rooms available as well. So we're just off mile 69. Um, so at Dix Creek Gap in Hiawassee, Georgia, but we also pick up at Unicoi Gap at mile 52 and Blue Ridge Gap at mile 75. Uh, so if you ever need anything, we're a one-stop shop for hikers. Perfect. Thank you so much. I'm going to yeah. do a little tour around your shop. Yeah, sounds good. All right, thanks. So they've got lots of shoes here. Or not shoes. They've got lots of socks. They do have topos here which we'll talk more about that in a little bit. They've got some ring gear, light heart gear. They've got these cute little skirts, which I love hiking in a skirt. You know you've seen me in one this whole journey. I'm just gonna show you kind of a quick overview of some of the things that they have so that if you are heading through this way, you can kind of plan on doing some resupply with some of what they have. They've got your cliff bars, your potatoes, some tuna, candy bars. And they even have some fresh fruit, cheese, hummus, and yogurt. They've got a fabulous selection of uh, freeze dried meals. Darn tough. This time of year, your down booties are wonderful to add to your pack got some sleeping pads they have uh, backpacks they have sleeping bags um even see some hammocks there just anything you want this section has some of their cold weather gear so I would just encourage you to plan for when you're uh, doing your northbound or your flip-flop or your sobo to stop in here at the gear shop and check them out and see what see what you need to add to your pack. <laughs> Some engine G liners also. I think this bag is super cute. All right. All righty, it's time. We've got to say goodbye to the Hoka's. They have helped with my heels. They have helped with my feet. And I am very appreciative that they have. But this pair is worn out. Uh, the direction I've been slip sliding all over the... Um, the, the mountains and I'm done with that and my feet were kind of starting to be pretty sloppy inside of there um, lots of extra movement that is not not good so what have we gone to 
I am trying out Topos for the first time. I got them at the Outfitter here at Around the Bend, and I am incredibly happy with the way they feel. So I will get to try them out on trail tomorrow, and then these will be my hiking shoes for when I get home. I am up above the hostel. There's the hostel right there. That's the gear shop. And then I am staying right in this little building right here. Uh, somewhere right on this end. <laughs> Have a great night and we'll see you on day 182.